Hey guys, this is X Xbox here, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do Chill Water Depths Cave here. Um, so this is a mission, if you guys didn't already know, um, to where uh, when you want to join the companions and you get a bunch of work to do, they actually send you on this mission. This is one of their sort of, not final missions, but later on in the missions. So here, uh, it's again, it's pretty easy to find uh, basically when you get this mission basically it tells you exactly where to run so I'll show a map later on these caves are actually sort of difficult definitely if you're gonna do them solo uh, as you can see I was level 19 when I came in here um, typically I have my companion guy with me but unfortunately when you're doing the companion quest um, <clears throat> you're, you're sort of stuck with using uh, I forgot what his name is the guy with the two-handed sword he says oh you know what I'm gonna come with you and then your other companion leaves so here, I didn't run back and get my companion that I always use, but so I'm going to run at this solo. So a lot of these I can pretty much one hit, um, again, because my guy is a uh, sort of a heavy DPS guy uh, with uh, masteries in uh, heavy armory. So you can see here, pretty much run up into this cave. There's a few spiders here and there. Uh, a lot of these spiders are the really the same spiders that you fought uh, in many earlier caves. And uh, so nothing too difficult. Pretty much by this time, you should be able to one or two or three hit them depending on your class. So we got a few more spiders up here. And this cave system was actually a little confusing at first for me because I wasn't quite sure where to go. So I seen this over here. <clears throat> and I was thinking, you know what? Um, you know, it looks like it's a cave with some, a little bit of water in it uh, where the water goes up to the top of the thing. You know, let me go down in there. So here... What I do is just looking around, and I see this little uh, nook here, I guess if you want to call it. And you can see how the water basically goes up and you got to swim. So here I'm going to go ahead and swim down into this uh, lower section down here. All this does is actually like a big U with this thing going through the middle. So that's what sort of confused me is I really didn't know where to go because, uh, uh, again, I wasn't quite sure you know, where, the, uh, uh, where the exit was or where the exit was to go to the next part. So here, <clears throat> you can definitely check out the um, the chest underneath the water. I think when I open it here, there really wasn't anything good in it. So uh, I don't know if the chests are always randomly generated with loot, but um, hopefully this will give you guys a good idea of what's in it. So, you know, a, a few things, but nothing really that great in there. So here I'm going to go ahead and look around because <clears throat> I wasn't, again, quite sure uh, of everything that was uh, uh, stored in here. So looking around for any other passages or ways to get out. So I think I think this is the same way that I came in. So I was going to go back out it just to just to see here. So yep, I come back out this, and I'm thinking, oh wait a second, this is the way that I just came in. <laughs> Again, this part for me was a little confusing because it d it does this whole big circle thing. So here, <clears throat> instead of running back into it. Um, you know, I just do recommend just, uh, just it's like, again, it's like a big U with that section in the middle. So here, I just uh, go ahead and run the correct way. And this time, I'm going to go back underneath it and, j and just double check to make sure there was nothing I missed. Because um, sometimes I know that there's levers and things like that in here. So you can see here, I'm going back out the other side of it this time. But pretty much, it just takes you back basically right to almost where you already came out. Um, so again, you're doing sort of a big, a big U here. I don't recommend doing that again for all you people who have been watching this. So <laughs> here you can see we came right back out. This is where we just killed the spiders. Um, so here what I did is I just skipped forward and basically ran forward on that trail I was on. <clears throat> here, I don't know what happened to this guy, this Falmer, uh, two archers here. I already killed the first one. I'm not sure what happened here. So here I just go ahead and get a free shot while he's in the thing. And then, of course, I'm uh, going to continue down this cave here. So here you'll start encountering uh, a lot more uh, difficult enemies, especially these, these Falmer guys. You do see a lot of them who are archers, some of them that are, uh, I don't even know what you want to call them, um, like those guys there with the, short, the, the shield and sword. And then, of course, you do see a lot more archers here later on, and you'll see that here in a moment. So around this corner, you're going to come, come up to this open room, and this open room is going to have a few archers where you, where you get to go up the uh, right-hand side of this uh, thing here after you kill this sort of mage farmer here, Thalmer. 
You can see no problem, again, for my guy. I can pretty much beat, beat a lot of those guys down. So again, a lot of these guys, very, very easy. Uh, you're starting to hit a lot of them in twos. So I think that's why if you came here solo and he might be a lower level, like 13 or 12, you you might have a little bit of a difficulty because a lot of them do come in twos and you got to really try to beat them down uh, as fast as you can. So here you come out to this open room. You're going to take a right. Up here is sort of like a mini, uh, <clears throat> sort of a mini founder camp, uh, if you want to call it that, right, when you go over this bridge up here. And for some reason, I didn't fully kill off that guy behind me, so I don't, I don't know what I was uh, what I was doing there. So I should have killed them all the way off. But here, yep, you go to the little the middle camp. There's a bunch of weapons and stuff on that back table. But uh, this was actually the second time that I went through it because I actually died. So there wasn't really anything that I seen uh, when I went there that was worthwhile of, of grabbing. So here again, uh, no problem with the uh, with the guy casting the ice. You do have a little uh, two of those. Uh, crochets, I think is what you call them, uh, right there. <clears throat> now this part is difficult. They do have a bunch of the founders come up on you. Um, I think we're going to have one here. Another one's going to be coming up down that uh, that lower area down there. And I think another one's going to come from behind here. But you can hear him uh, right ahead there where you can see that archer's up there. Uh, that's actually where um, the sort of the main guy you're supposed to kill is, but don't run in there right away. They do have a lot of uh, Falmers in there. So here I was just goofing around. I just wanted to go ahead and hit, try and hit these guys a few times with my uh, with my arrows. You can see we got a few more Falmers here. And I just wanted to go ahead and beat this guy down here. And I was getting close here. I was I was getting close. So you can see, I should have lured him out so that archer wouldn't have got me. So here I'm going to go ahead and just spam heal. And uh, definitely try to hide so I don't get uh, so I don't get uh, owned by that archer up there. <clears throat> so here, I was going to go back and see where that archer was at. And I thought he was back here along this bridge, but I forgot that it actually that whole uh, section there sort of loops around. So <clears throat> I knew I wasn't going to be able to get him going through here. This will actually just take you right back to the front of this... Uh, the front of that little nest cave right there. So here, I'm actually going to go ahead and open this up. And these things are actually sort of difficult in here. Uh, especially two of them, they can do some damage. Uh, you can, you'll see here in a second. I go in here. I'm going to go ahead and cast Fire Breath on them. And I'm going to come in here and try and hit these things as you know, pretty much hard as I can. You're going to see I almost die to, uh, to this particular one here. So luckily enough, I was able to kill it with just barely enough life so uh, I don't think those were uh, I don't think those were critical in killing but if there's something in here uh, you know that they're that they're guarding like a chest or a, a lever or something let me know I didn't see anything so uh, definitely let me know if there's something in here uh, that I missed so here I actually just go ahead and charge up um, for some reason I didn't get it where I killed the uh, killed that main guy right there but here, again, um, this is sort of the main section or the main guy that you're going to have to kill. And he's a little difficult depending on your level. <clears throat> so here, I wanted to make sure there was nobody left down in this main section here. So this is like a, uh, I guess you'd call it sort of like a, a, camp, a prison camp, I guess, if you want to call it that. You could look in here, and there's a few guys. Um, I go ahead and take that note. I really didn't look at it. But there really wasn't anything else in... Uh, in any of these uh, little caves down here for me to to uh, to get. So here, just just opening all the caves again. Didn't find really anything in here uh, worth taking. So again, if there's something down here, definitely let me know uh, in the comments if there's something that uh, that I missed here. <clears throat> so all right, we're now about to get to it. route basically about to get to the uh, quote unquote final guy here. He's just a normal everyday guy. Um, maybe a little bit tougher than your usual. I can see that we had two archers drop off from the right and left. So I definitely didn't want to take this guy on, you know, uh, three versus one. So I'm going to do my uh, special pole technique here. Going to go ahead and cast fire uh, breath on him and then just beat this guy down. 
And you can see here again, very easy for my guy. Uh, two or three hit him, pretty much toast. And perfect, <clears throat> you killed the leader of the chill, sorry, chill wind depths uh, location here. Not anything really that great on him. I didn't see anything. I was trying to look for a sword. I didn't see his sword drop. So anyway, uh, I see we have two more archers here. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, see if I can uh, dash at one of these guys and uh, get him here and knock him down. So I got that Falmer. Now, of course, there's going to be one more right over here. And this is pretty much it for the caves. Uh, you can see the caves are sort of difficult depending on your class and who you are. I took a look around here and really didn't see anything else to grab. So that's it. You're going to see my guy run around the back and, and a few a few, a few, few more of the cave systems back here. But there's nothing really else back here. There's a lot of stuff in here, so <clears throat> you can pick up some of it. But yeah, that's how I was able to build, uh, beat this cave system, uh, this quest. Definitely subscribe, leave comments if you can, and definitely thumbs up. And thanks again, guys.